Hi, it's Melanie from Shimmer Spa, and today we're talking about how to find your skin tone undertone. This is incredibly important, and I do need this video to refer back to for any of my latter videos, so let's get to it. It's estimated that there are about 4,000 skin tones out in the world, and there are definitely more than that if you consider how the skin changes on different parts of the body. Your skin is intelligent and complex, and it has changed pigment over generations, depending on how close or how far your ancestors have lived from the equator. Your skin's there to protect you. It's really awesome, and it will look great if you're able to match that undertone. 4,000 possibilities aside, what we're looking for is to identify if you are neutral, cool, or warm. Your cool undertones are going to have a pink or a blue base. Your neutral undertones have kind of an even mix of red and yellow, a little bit on the orangier side. And then your warm skin tones have an olive or a yellow complexion. Besides coming in to see a cosmetologist, there are a few different ways that you can deduce your undertone. First, think about the type of jewelry that you like to wear. Do you look better in gold or do you look better in silver? Does one color make you look more washed out or does one color make your skin look healthy and nourished? Warm tones, you're going to probably look better in gold. Cool tones, you're going to probably look better in silver. And if you're in neutral, you might find yourself mixing and matching your metals. I wear primarily rose gold since it made it back from the 80s. Thank you for that, I'm really enjoying it. I wasn't really sure if I was warm, neutral, or cool until I swatched myself uh, with a line called Zooey Organic that shows your undertone. I always thought that maybe I was more neutral, my eyes are blue, my hair is ashy, so I was thinking I was somewhere in the middle range. I am a warm skin tone, which may or may not mean that you uh, burn easily in the sun. This is me with a tan when I was little so uh look at the that arm is really good I have a really good tan so I know that I have some underlying pigments that are a little bit warmer and I can definitely hold a tan cool fair tones won't always burn in the sun but it is very common so most likely if you aren't really able to hold a lot of pigment in your skin when you tan you may be on the cooler side and this goes for the fairer skin tones only another myth about skin tone is that deeper skin tones can't get sun damage Deeper skin tones can absolutely get sun damage even if they have more melanin to protect their skin. So you'll see different types of hyperpigmentation depending on what your skin tone ranges from, if you are fairer or deeper. If there's one thing that you wanna be wearing every day, it's definitely sunscreen. Next, we're going to look at how the veins through your skin represent themselves if you look at your arm. If you have greenish undertones coming through your skin, most likely you're warm. If you have blue or purple, that's a good indication that you're probably cool. Now your natural hair color, if you've seen that lately, it may not be what looks the best on you, but if you have a great hair color right now, you've been into a great hairstylist, you'll be able to do something about your undertones. I'm going to show you hair swatches of gold, neutral, and violet, which is on the cooler side. They have slight changes in what their undertone is. When you apply makeup and foundation especially, if you feel like your foundation is making your face look a little too pink, you might be a neutral or a warm undertone. If you put foundation makeup on and think that you're pulling a little too orange, you might be a cool or a warm skin tone. If you put your makeup on and you feel like you're pulling too yellow, you may be a neutral or you may be a cool skin tone. Simplifying your skin tone down to warm, neutral, or cool will really help you with your color choices. Let me know if you're warm, neutral, or cool in the comments below. It's really fun for me as a makeup artist to have warm toned skin and ashy hair and then blue eyes with little flecks of yellow in them and yellow is a warm color. I get to have a lot of fun and be creative in what I come up with makeup. I have a warm based foundation on that's custom blend from work. So we go through and we make everybody's blend according to them. We tone it just like you would do hair color. When I do custom blend foundation matches, I swatch the face, the neck, and the hand. I think they're all pretty important in what brings our 
undertone together. Sometimes it is fun to mix up your warm, neutral, and cools. We'll talk about that a little bit in our next videos. Now that we have the foundation of your undertone, I will see you in our next makeup video.